So, I mean, you know, pretty much that was, that was it, you know, with the Suave thing. And, um, I, uh, I kind of lost touch and lost focus from some of my family members, um, my cousins, I double, um, and a lot of other people, man, that kind of felt that I hurt my stock with, uh, doing a disc record on Suave that, um, it was a, it was a terrible move. Um, a lot of people were thinking, and I kind of lost focus and contact with a lot of my family through it. And I, you know, like I said before, I think that, uh, um, music, music is, a, is, is inspired by your own, um, your own, you know, your opinions. Um, and what, what you see through your eyes, you know what I'm saying? Uh, music should not be something that, um, separates one from, from another. Friends should be friends regardless of, of, uh, musical content or musical aspects. You know what I'm saying? It, it's an art form. And, um, you're, you're never too old to express yourself, you know, and music, music is, is, is an expression, kind of like a, a, a painter to a canvas, you know what I'm saying, it's what his imagination can, can create, it's, it's art, you know what I'm saying, and for <clears throat> me to kind of lose, um, lose a friendship or lose, lose contact or, or whatnot with my cousin, it's, it's, it's crazy, you know, because, before I was an artist, we we were cousins. Before I was anything, we we was cool and and we got along and everything was all gravy, you know. But um, just people just go their own direction, you know. People, you know, um, seem to be going down the same route as you go down, and some people just um, tend to drift to the left or the right. And you know, um, he felt that he didn't want to um, <clears throat> um, leave himself at risk because. I was dealing with him or whatever, you know, just, just, just a bunch of bullshit, you know, but anyway, that's basically the situation what happened with that. Um, and, uh, the crazy thing about it, people still wanted to work with me, you know, um, people still, uh, people still wanted to, to work with me. They were still sending me, um, samples. They were still sending me tracks. I was getting a lot of comments, inboxes on my, my YouTube page. Um, I set up my Reverb Nation. Um, I set up a, a, a Facebook um, uh, artist page, and I was, you know, people still wanted to, you know, wanted to work with me and, and still like my music, regardless of 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 the disc record or not, you know. Um, but things things just gradually moved on. I mean, um, I was getting calls from Swafi. Um, I was getting calls from Nick G. I was getting a lot of calls from Jay Moses. Me and him was doing music together. Um, we got on stage together, um, doing the recording of my um, "Attacked by Many, Defeated by None" album. Um, I was dealing with Swafi. Uh, you know, I went to uh, several recordings out there in Charleston with him and Ravion. Um, I went, you know, I started doing my solo thing. Um, you know, dealing with Great A. You know, like like I said, man, it's it's time consuming is, is schedules. Schedules got to meet, you know, when you got kids and you got a family, you know, your family, um, your family and your home comes first, you know, so, uh, you know, me, you know, getting ready to have a baby and me trying to finish my album and me trying to record at somebody else's house and me trying to do this, me, that's why I had to go into business for myself. I had to get, um, uh, get me a, a computer and, and put my program on it and, um, get my mic and everything set up and, you know, going through the course of trial and error, you know, going through the inauguration album, I think that was like my worst material, you know what I'm saying? Because it was my first time and I, I go back and listen to it. I'm like, man, I need to re-record that whole album, you know, because I could just, I could just hear it in my voice. You know, I just didn't have a, I just didn't have a swag or I just didn't have the delivery like I can, you know, I can go into the booth now and it's just like second nature because um, practice does make perfect. But um, me going solo and me dropping my debut album, I put a lot of hard work in the album. Um, DJ Red was the producer on that. And I got um, the Merchant Boys on the album. Um, Kinez, big shout out to them. They doing a lot of big things. Um, uh... Jay Moses is on the album. 
I couldn't get Twig G on it. Uh, who else I got? I got a, another guy out of California on the album, too, um, which was DJ Red's, uh, I think it was his his nephew or his cousin-in-law or something. Anyway, he was down here for a week, and he had laid um, 16 down on one of my tracks. But, man, the Attack by... Uh, I, Attacked by many, defeated by none album was probably um, my best work. I mean, I'm proud of that. I'm proud of that album. It's um, 17 tracks, um, all original beats. Every last track is original. All the music, the lyrical content was written by myself. Um, I mean, I put a lot of hard work in that album. Um, through the course of doing that album, man, uh, Factor, um, um, I think I think he's a Chicago native, um, and he had did uh, he had opened up the open mic nights. I think that was every Tuesday at the High Dive, and I had performed twice out there. I performed a track uh, with um, Huey Black and um, AK Dre the, um, when I was a part of Grade A. Um, we did uh, Haters. Um, it was actually a sample that I took from uh, from Cat Williams, um, and the tra the, actually, the track was an original track that uh, that Troy made me. Uh, Troy Lewis, a.k.a. Nasty, um, he did the track. Um, I performed that. I also performed Get Your Weight Up with DJ Red and Jay Moses. That was the first time that I hit the stage with Jay Moses and DJ Red. Uh, from him being a, a you know, uh, pioneer of of you know of of, of underground hip-hop out in Kankakee that was that was kind of a that was kind of a big thing for me to be on stage with him and um, um, yeah that was going on through the course of that um, that recording of that album um, I was getting a buzz through reverb nation I was getting a lot of um, good feedback and good comments and everything from from reverb and my facebook was up and i was getting a lot of people i didn't know that was trying to you know try to that was liking my music messaging me where can they get it where can they download it and, you know um everything's for free you know um i'm not you know signed a contract with bad boy or anybody and this is what i've always preached with a lot of uh, with a lot of younger cats man stay away from these um these overnight um these these P Diddy manager wannabes, you know, um, get you know compensated for your contributions, and that's um that's something that I was that I was speaking first and foremost. Don't be out here um, putting out a label's name or a person's name, and out here chanting it all in your songs, and out here talking about I'm with so and so, I'm with such and such, but you're not getting compensated for your contributions. That's just like you working a nine to five, 40 hours a week, and you don't get paid. You know, um, you know, people always want to talk about there's no money coming in, there's no money coming in, so this, that, and other, and always um, selling you a dream, giving you broken promises. You know, they always promising you, you know, we're going to work on this, we're going to try to make you, you know, the, the hottest thing out here in Champaign Urbana, but there's no money involved, you know. It's good to hear that, and it's good to hear that you you are one of the hottest or the hottest out here, you know, in the in the underground scene. But you're not getting compensated for your contributions, and it's always about you work, you get paid. You know what I mean? It's that's what it's always been about, you know. And I was um, um, with being with Swafi, you know, they wanted me to actually be an artist manager. You know, I was kind of I had my hands full, you know what I mean? Um, being an artist, one, and shooting videos and editing videos and posting it on YouTube and doing this on Facebook and trying to get with this artist because I'm being told from, you know, the managers or whatever to um, get with so-and-so and make sure, make sure he's working on this and make sure he's working on that and make sure this is done. I mean, um, had I had the time to work, and had I, had I had money behind me, um, I think we could have been, we could have made the, the, the Swafi thing a lot more potent. Um, I think we were more or less trying to um, do trips to Chicago and, you know, um, out of state and stuff like that. But um, 
as far as being an artist myself, I was doing a lot of pushing my things to the side and working on everybody else's projects and shooting videos and editing videos. And people don't understand, man, like editing videos takes time, you know, especially when you get a track behind it because you got to line up the 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 video with the track it's not like you can move the track and line it up with the video so you know uh video editing was 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 pretty hard a lot of trial and error and a lot of you know my computer freezing up and and losing memory and losing my my project i was working on because i didn't save and all that stuff but whatever but anyway through the course of attack by many defeated by none album being done um one thing that I that I, that I noticed, and and not to be racially biased or whatnot, but when you when you target it towards a certain group or a certain genre of an audience, as far as like I, I do hip hop music, I do gangster music, so um, most of my fans and most of the people that listen to my music are are African American or blacks or or people that are minority race, um, but you got to think how many people. How many black folks you know get a computer in their in in their household? So doing the download was cool for people that use computers or had computers or had access to a computer or really followed through and really downloaded your whole album from your site. So um, that being said, I put the download downloadable version of the album on my Reverb Nation. Then I also had hard copies with me because a lot of people want to ride and bump. They want to bump the music. And a lot of people really don't have, quote unquote, the time to go home and pop in a blank CD and go to your Reverb Nation and download your whole album and burn it. So thinking business-wise, um, thinking um, on, the, on, the, on the advertising aspect of it, I had to have hard copies with me and, and, and also have it available for download. Because if you notice, you know, everything is evolving to the Internet. So I had to have it available for download and also I had to have hard copies on me. So um, with that being said, I sold the Attack by Many, Defeated by None album for one dollar. I sold it for one dollar and I sold 250 copies in I think it was four months. Um, and it was downloaded 175 times for free. So uh, I didn't make no money off of the uh, the downloads, but you know my 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 Reverb Nation site got the hits and a lot of and a lot of likes and stuff. But with that, I think a lot of people with the Reverb Nation they're they're chasing they're chasing the number one spot and not keeping in mind this is music. This is not a race. Um, the only competition should, should be you you know you you competing with yourself, you know. Um, compete with yourself. Don't compete with no other artists, and don't try to be someone that you're not. Compete with yourself. Try to be better lyrically than you were yesterday. Try to be better, better, have a better delivery than you had last week. Compete with yourself. Don't compete with others. You know what I mean? Because you compete with others, you kind of find yourself um, speaking in the falsehood. And what I mean by speaking in the falsehood, you start saying a lot of stuff and start swearing that you're living the type of life that you're not actually living because you're competing with the competition. The competition is yourself. <laughs> you can be either your best friend or your worst enemy. You can drive yourself out of music. And um, a lot of cats was trying to compete with others. And me, I was just trying to compete with myself. I was just trying to stay consistent and steady and um, get better. That's what I was trying to do. So, um, with having um with having my son, um, and I thank God for that. And having my son, I kind of took a took a lot of steps back and was really trying to find myself because I was at the age of of, of thirty years old, and I was still doing hip hop that made sense, but it's been heard a million and one times. So I was trying to look to do something more political, um, and I think that's when I started to. Um, to do the uh, number one draft pick mixtape. And I started to do a lot of more political tracks. And I think that's where um, that I had started on working on that um, in and out of, you know, changing diapers and, and uh, putting them down for naps. So um, I started to do that. So.